Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans back for Tuts Plus and I'm going to be doing a couple of quick tips here. First one, you may have guessed, is on Kong in Reason. Now I absolutely love Kong, I think it's probably one of the best software drum solutions out there at the minute. Sort of a shame it's tied up inside Reason, but there you go. I use it in Rewire um, behind uh, other DAWs and, and also I'll use it in Reason if I'm doing an entire project in there. Uh, one thing that you know I really miss about the redrum or red drum, depending on how you say it, um, is the step sequencing aspect. Um, when I moved to using Kong um, more often, I often miss that style of programming. So um, I came up with a way to use redrum uh, to use its uh, step sequencing capability with Kong. Now, some of you may have already sussed this. Uh, you know, it's definitely something I've covered in written tutorials both on Tuts Plus and elsewhere, but I thought I'd do it in video form uh, for those of you that haven't seen it. And it's also useful to see it being done uh, as opposed to reading a load of text and looking at screenshots. So here we go. I'm going to um, open up um, a redrum just straight below. And obviously this will um, open it on a new mix channel. So I'm not actually going to use the sounds out of the redrum. Um, I'm just using its triggering playback capabilities. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to um, reset device here and that's just going to make sure that there's no sounds. Okay. Like I say, we're using it as a sequencer and nothing else. Now we're going to flip the rack and what you want to look at is the gate output. There's a gate output uh, and all the CV gate connections on in Reason are always the smaller connections. Now this is the manual bit where you've actually got to drag and drop a few times, but I'm basically going to take one gate output uh, to number one pad gate input and just repeat this process eight times. And I'll cut away now so you don't have to watch me do it. Okay, there we go. Um, and I said eight, but there's actually ten. So <laughs> uh, there's ten outputs uh, 10 slots in the redrum and so you can trigger 10 of the uh, of the of the 16 pads in Kong you could use a second redrum here by the way uh, to trigger the rest if you've got a really full kit and you really want to trigger all 16 using step sequencing it's obviously going to sync up so you can you can use two but you'll you'll see what I'm doing in a second um, now at the minute we've just got a really basic kit loaded it's the I think the the Kong kit that comes with it. Um, and if I play this back, nothing's going to happen. Excuse the fact there's no transport or anything. I'm working in a 720 window here, so <laughs> we're, we're working with limited space. That's why everything's folded away. Um, but what you want to do is go and select the first uh, channel, and you'll see that the step sequence is running here. And let's just put a kick in. And you can see that's triggering pad number one. And then you can just go ahead and select the second one. Very complex beat I'm programming for you here. <laughs> and you can just keep going like this. Second snare. You can sort of get a feeling for which sounds. And then you can go ahead and mix right on the Kong. Great. And so you've got back that step sequencing that you had in Redrum, but you're using Kong. And what I'd suggest you do is, I mean, you can take this mix channel out. You can combinate these and you can save it as a combinator, as an instrument, and that'll just be something that you can load up, a blank one, you know, before you start to program anything, and just load it up as an instrument, and you've essentially got a step sequencer uh, built in to Kong, and, uh, I, you know, I just really like to program like this. I think it's really, really quick, it's really intuitive, and if you're a Kong user, um, and you haven't already done this, uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a godsend. So hopefully it's been useful. Bit of a quick tip. Next up, we're going to be looking at something completely different, and I'm going to show you how to set up multi-output devices in OS X. Slightly different from aggregate devices, so this will be useful to a different crowd probably. 
Um, but try this yourself. As always, give me suggestions and let me know if there's anything you want to see. Cheers for now.